Tumo is a Tibetan form of meditation which allows a person to generate heat throughout their own body by mental concentration alone. Dutch daredevil Wim Hof is the first Westerner to learn this ancient technique passed down among Tibetan monks for thousands of years. He has managed to master this technique, which now to ordinary people seems almost supernatural. Now he can withstand freezing environments with little to no clothing on his back. Nicknamed Iceman, Vim has carried out incredible stunts, the most notorious being the fact that he climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in sub-freezing temperatures wearing only shorts. Hoff holds 20 cold endurance world records. Meditating on ice every day, he makes public shows during which he breaks his own record every time, prolonging his stunt for exactly one minute. Daniel Kish had retina cancer as a child. This tragically resulted in the removal of both of his eyes. He is 47 years old today, and although he has no eyes, he can actually see. He is so in tune with the world, owing to his advanced hearing that he can behave and function quite normally. He is able to function in heavy traffic, climb trees, and even endeavor camping all by himself. As one sense was taken away from him, this gave another one a chance to blossom and advance so much that it's almost a superpower. This phenomenon is called echolocation. His sense of orientation is dictated by hearing. The strategy Kish uses is the following. He clicks his tongue and listens carefully to the bouncing off of the sound against present objects. He registers the different distances as different volume. This is a technique similar to the navigation techniques of bats and dolphins. Today, Daniel is an expert in human echolocation. He is currently the president of World Access for the Blind, a nonprofit organization which aims to facilitate self-directed achievement of people with all forms of blindness. Kish and his organization have taught echolocation to at least 500 blind children all over the world. Tim Cridland, better known by his stage name Zamora the Torture King, was born in 1963 in the United States and is a famous sideshow performer. Zamora started his career as a performer in the Jim Rose Circus. His act is unique because it contains not only standard play piercing and sword swallowing, but deep piercings throughout the body and through the flesh inside his jaw as well. He is notorious for cutting into his torso in such a way that it appears he removes swallowed objects directly from his stomach. Tim pushes the boundaries of the pincushion act remarkably far. He has made a name for himself and has appeared on many famous shows, such as Guinness World Records Primetime, Ripley's Believe It or Not, The National Geographic Channel, 48 Hours, and Stan Lee's Superhumans. Scott Flansburg can subtract, add, multiply, divide, and find square and cube roots in his head almost instantly with complete accuracy. In 2001 and 2003, he broke the Guinness World Record and got listed as fastest human calculator. This was after he broke the record for adding the same number to itself more times in 15 seconds than someone could do with a calculator. Flansburg was born in 1963 in New York. Today he is known nationwide for his calculating abilities. He is the annual host and ambassador for World Maths Day and has appeared on popular talk shows in the likes of The Tonight Show with Jay Leno and Larry King Live. He has also written books, Math Magic and Math Magic for Your Kids. Stephen Wiltshire was born in London in 1974. He was born mute and uttered his first word as a response to his teacher taking away his drawing materials when he was nine years old. Stephen first expressed interest in drawing at the age of five and soon became fascinated with sketching landmark London buildings. This hobby led him to the discovery of his extraordinary talent, an impeccable photographic memory. He memorized intricate details of the Tokyo, Rome, Hong Kong, Dubai, New York City, and London. London skylines after only a brief helicopter ride over each city. He reproduced them not only with incredible detail, but with a brilliant technique as well. 